let's start over because I already started and apparently wasn't filming. So yay for me. This is a video of my pan in every palette project. We are going to start with the least exciting and get to the most exciting. And yeah, so the least exciting is the Age of Opulence by Beauty Bay. And Hope is what I have in. I've only used it two times. I know. Shame, shame, shame. I need to use it more. I have the Naughty palette from BH Cosmetics. And No Day has a pan. I used it a total of six times to hit that pan. That is what both of those shades look like. This one was already really close to pan anyways, so it wasn't very hard. I have the Be Perfect Carnival Antidote palette in, and it's the shade Sweet Cheeks, which is what I use for my brows, and I have pan. I used it a total of 18 times to hit that pan, and... There it is. So clearly I have two palettes rolling out and I decided to make my change. I decided that because this is a pan in every palette, I had a hard time like picking which palettes I wanted to work on next. And so what I've decided is, is that I'm going to work alphabetically, but not exactly alphabetically, just, you know, my A's, my B's, my C's, okay. Um, we'll see if I stick with that or I get bored. Um, and when I get to my melt palettes, I may not include those. We'll see how I feel when I get there. Um, and of course, I'll be skipping ones that already have pan in them. That's what I'm going to do um, just to make it less challenging for me. And also, it would be kind of cool just to see the progress as I go down, sort of. I don't know. So that means that I have this Ace Beauty Oceanic palette that I'm going to bring in. And it looks like this. It is a very, very beautiful palette. And I'm thinking, like, it's not, it's not very used, right? It really isn't. I think that I want to bring in this algae shade because you guys know I love greens, and that is a very bright, beautiful color. So, and I think that green will pair well with Hope. So I'm going to bring that one in. And I also decided, you guys, that I wanted to bring in another color, which is sort of exciting or another palette to be working on. So I'll be working on four colors or four pans instead of three. I may work my way up to five, we'll see. Um, but the next palette is the Ace Beauty Nostalgia palette, which I got from Andy Does Stuff. And it looks like all this. It's basically untouched. Um, I have used it, but it, not very much. Um, I had a different one and it got ugly. So she sent me this one. And I think that we're going to do a shimmer for this one. This one was hard. I didn't know which color I wanted to work on. But I think I'm going to pick heat. Um, because it looks like a very beautiful shimmer. And I want to have at least one shimmer in my project, right? And then the next one I'm going to bring in is the Ace Beauty Classical Paradise. Maybe this is boring because they're all from the same brand, basically. But like I said, I just decided to go in order um and i've used the the gbs out of this palette i absolutely 
love it. It came from Andy Does Stuff, of course, because like half of my palettes have came from her being real. Um, and it's going to be the soil shade for my brow. That is my give me shade. And ooh, it's quite a bit darker than the one that I was using, but I think it'll be fine. I'm okay with that. Um, it's not going to match my hair perfectly anyways. Um, so yeah, that'll be the shade that I'm working on. I could use clay instead. Maybe I should do that. Should I? Which one? Mm, I'm going to stick with soil. So those are the four shadows that I'm going to be working on. This one and this one, that one and that one. Yep. And that is my update. Thanks for watching this video, sticking with me through this project. I know that I do it completely different than everybody else does. I know, I know. Um, I am weird and I am me and I want to do the project in a way that makes me excited. Otherwise, if I'm working on colors I don't like or doing things that I don't like, I'm not going to do it. And so far, doing it the way that I'm doing it, I have done, I think, fairly well. And I'm excited about that. So I want to keep up on that. It'll be years before I hit pan in all my, my palettes. Because then I'll be decluttering palettes and getting new ones hard. You think I could ever hit pan in every palette that I own? Probably not. I don't know. But I'm going to have fun trying. Okay, bye.